This is motion beam project that triggers lighting effect based on the motion. For this project, we need an Arduino Uno port, an MPU6050 sensor module to detect tilt angles, 11 LEDs, 11 220 ohm resistors, jumper wires, one large breadboard, and a USB cable for programming. Let's wire everything up. Take the breadboard and Arduino. Start by connecting the MPU6050 sensor to the Arduino. Insert it on the breadboard. Connect the VCC of sensor to 5V of the Arduino. Connect its GND to GND, its SCL to A5 of Arduino and SDA to A4 pin. Next, connect 11 LEDs to the Arduino. Insert all LEDs in the breadboard. Connect their shorter leg to the ground rail of the breadboard via resistors and connect the longer legs to digital pins from 3 to 13. Using the circuit diagram, ensure each LED is connected to the correct pin on the Arduino. Verify all ground connections are secure and registers are in place. Now download the code file given in the description below. Open the code file in the Arduino IDE. We start by including two libraries. Wired.h for I2C communication with the MPU6050. MPU6050.h to make working with the MPU6050 sensor easier. Next, we define the number of LEDs, their pin numbers, and a smoothness factor for transition. In the setup function, we initialize the serial communication to debug data and configure the MPU6050 sensor with specific gyro and accelerometer ranges. We also look through all the LED pins and set them as output so they can be turned on and off. In the loop function, we use gate acceleration to read the X, Y, and Z accelerometer data from the MPU6050 sensor. Then we calculate the tilt angle using the attend to function, which gives the angle in radians. We convert it to degrees for better understanding. Next, we map the calculated angle to an LED index using the map function. This ensures that angles between minus 90 and 90 degree corresponds to LED numbers from 0 to 13. The constraint function ensures the index doesn't go out of range. To make the LED transition smooth, we gradually move the current LED towards the target LED. If the target is higher, we increment. If it is lower, we decrement. The smoothness value controls how quickly this happens. Finally, we update the LEDs. Only the current LED is turned on, while all others are turned off. The delay F50 ensures the loop runs smoothly without overloading the system. And that's how the code works. Now connect the Arduino Uno to your computer using the USB cable for uploading the code. Select port and bowl in the same menu and select Arduino Uno. Now click on the upload button. Congratulations! You have successfully created a tilt activated LED indicator using the MPU6050 sensor and Arduino. The project is perfect for learning about accelerometers and their application in motion sensing. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching our tutorial.